Bobby Bobson, and I'm your host for tonight. We have a show full of comedy for you tonight with some great stand-up comedians. Now, when I arrived earlier to go to my dressing room, a guy with a rubber toe came up and asked for my autograph. I asked for his name. He said, Roberto. <laughs> Roberto. <laughs> Roberto. Roberto. I then, I then, <laughs> then I looked down, right? And I saw this guy, but, but he wasn't standing. And, and he wanted an autograph too. And I said, hey, hey, what's your name? And he said, Neil! <laughs> Neil! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, settle down. No, don't settle down. Get yourself excited. Please welcome our first comedian, a brilliant guy who's also looking for love, ladies. It's Sad Sam! <laughs> Hello, I'm Sad Sam. Here, here are some jokes for you. Why was the, why was the frog having a bad day? Because his car got to towed. <clears throat> because because his car got towed. Uh, what what type of what type of shoes do frogs wear? Oh, open, open toed, to open toed sandal, sandals, flip, flip flops. Where do frogs hang their clo clothes? In the cro croak room. In the croak room. <laughs> Boom! What's with all the frog jokes? Yeah, and why don't you smile a bit? You look so unhoppy. <laughs> <laughs> Como estas? That's one for any of the Spanish viewers out there. Imagine if people were watching this, watching the Coastline Kids online experience in Spain. How cool would that be? In fact, do you want to do a quick Spanish quiz with me? Uh, I have a word in Spanish that I want you to guess what it means in English. Are you ready? Uh, the word is amor. You've got five seconds to guess amor. What does it mean? Discuss with the person next to you. Stop! Let's head over to Spanish Dictionary Corner to find out what it means. Hola! Welcome to Spanish Dictionary Corner. Ah, uh, got it here, amor. Now, amor means love, which is perfectly fitting considering we're in the Coastline Kids Love Show! Back to you, Michael. Thanks, Keith. That's right, we're learning all about love. <laughs> uh, and there's a part of the Bible that talks a lot about it. It's in a book called 1 Corinthians, and it is in chapter 13. Uh, we've also got some activities that you can do at home. You can print them out, do them at home, and there's a link to them in the video description down below, just down there. While I've got you all gathered together, let's play a quick game called Love It or Loathe It. Here is what you're going to do. I'll say some things, uh, and if you like that thing, or love it, rather, put your thumb up, put both thumbs up like that, right? Uh, if you hate it, you're gonna, you guessed it, put your thumbs down, uh, or if you're not sure, you're gonna wiggle in the middle. Wiggle in the middle. Okay, first thing on love it or loathe it is Marmite. Hmm, Marmite, love it or loathe it, love it or loathe it. What are you gonna go for? I love it. Marmite is yummy. I think it's the best thing. Lather it all onto toast, onto crumpets. Mm -hmm. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Pineapple on pizza. Pineapple on pizza. Love it or loathe it? What's it gonna be? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Do you love it or do you loathe it? That's the theme tune. I've just, just made up for it. It's, it's not that great. Pineapple on pizza. It's a yes from me. Love it. Think it's delicious. Uh, but it's fruit. Fruit doesn't belong on pizza. Right, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's on about. <laughs> okay, last one then. Last one on love it or loathe it or wiggle in the middle. Uh, biting an ice lolly. Biting into an ice lolly. Do you love it? Do you loathe it? Are you going to wiggle in the middle? Where's it going to be? Where's it going to be? <laughs> no, it's a definite no from me. Mm. It's way too cold on the teeth. Ice lollies should only be licked. 
<laughs> that is the rules. Anyone who bites them is wrong, wrong, wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, good game. Thanks for playing. I hope you enjoyed. Love it or loathe it. Let's worship together now. Lord God, we love you. Definitely not a loathe it on you. And we want to worship you now. Amen. When night has fallen, when fear is coming, still you're calling me. When faith is lost in, my hope exhausted, you will be my strength. When my mind says I'm not find out just how Bob and Sam are getting on after that, well, that fairly disastrous bit of stand-up comedy earlier. No one laughed at me. Not one person. Usually I, I don't want people to laugh at me, but when I'm telling jokes, oh, come on. <laughs> hey Sam, it, it, it's not all bad news. In fact, I, I just had an email come through from a fan. <laughs> Someone who watched the show last night was really impressed, thought you were really funny. Really? I'll, uh, I'll set you up on a date with her. How does bowling sound? Like that. How did you do that? I, I meant, how does it sound like, do you think that would be fun? Would you be up for that? But never mind, I'll, I'll book it in. I'll book you guys a date. Three hours later. I've never been bowling before. 
I don't know actually how it works. I'm, I'm a bit nervous. What, what do you do? Oh no, here she comes. Hi, I'm Claudia. Lovely to meet you. I'm Sam. Oh, I know who you are. I saw you on the telly. I've been on telly once too. I was extra on Coronation Street. They said I was a real star. Really professional. And the best extra they've ever had on. I expect they'll want me as an actor on the show soon, full time. You know, because I did such a great job. Oh. Are you good at bowling? <laughs> good at bowling? Why, yes, dear, I'm the best. My high score is 315. I managed to knock down all the pins on my lane, and also some of the ones on the other lanes, too. <laughs> all right. I was once scouted by a bowling coach. <laughs> they wanted me to play for England. I was so good, but I said, I didn't have the time. Because I'm working on my astronaut career, I've been tipped by Time magazine as most likely to be the first person to fly to Jupiter. So, do you want to go first then, or, or do you want to go second? Oh, oh, you go first, Sam, dear. You go first. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I don't know how this works. I can't ask her for help. She'll think I'm an idiot. She already mentioned getting the pins down. Okay, yes. Maybe you have to slide into them yourself, but this floor isn't very slippery. I'll have to put some custard on it to make it more slippery. Luckily, I always keep some custard in my beard. Okay, bowling, here we go then. Custard for slippiness, custard for slippiness. Up to the pins, here we go. Don't worry, I'll be just a moment. Just make it a bit slippy with the custard from my beard. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Yay! Bowling! What do you mean it's not right? Oh, what, 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 what have you done that for? I got custard all over me. Oh, gross. Oh dear. Whoopsie daisy. Looks like another failed date for Sad Sam. I didn't realize he didn't know how to play 10 pin bowling. You're meant to use a ball, Sam! <laughs> And why did you pour the custard down? I, I, I mean, I guess, I guess it never would have worked out anyway. Claudia, well, she was way too boastful, saying that she's the best at bowling, telling Sam about all her accomplishments all the time. And that made Sam think worse of himself and feel too embarrassed to ask her how to bowl. I guess the thing that we can take away from it is that love isn't boastful. Back to you in the studio, Michael. Oh, thanks, Bob. I don't know how he keeps spinning these random things to be to do with our theme of the week, but he does it and I love it. Thank you, Bob. I guess that's why they pay him the big bucks. He is a great TV host. Patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful and enjoys through every circumstance. Now, I'm not sure I still fully understand what it means that love isn't boastful yet. Let's cross over to our special guest, Pete, to tell us more. Over to you, Pete. Love is not boastful. Boastful? It's a strange word. Do you all know what it means? OK, we're going to watch a quick video just to kind of explain boastful or an example of what being boastful or boasting is. Like wait, this. wait, wait. Yeah. Do it again. Do it one more time. Unless you can't even keep it. OK, do it one more time. That hard. Do it one more time. Step outside, please, so I can show you how to do it. <laughs> I already 
didn't know how to do it. No, you can't do it like me. Well, I could do it better than you. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. Watch this. That's quite funny. Have you guys ever done that? You ever try to show off and it not go well? So once I was on a stag party, um, that's kind of like a, a party or a day out that people have before they get married. Um, so quite often like, or the men go away and do something for the day. And we went away, we went to a, we went out to a water park. And one of the things we were doing was jet skiing and water skiing as well. And water skiing is where you kind of go on two skis and you ski through the water being pulled by a boat. And I, yeah, I for some reason got okay at it. And I kind of came to get out of the water quite quickly and was able to go quite, the boat was pulling me quite fast and I was having fun. And we were going around this lake and at the side of the lake was where the other guys were watching. And one of the times around the lake, I thought, hang on, I'm getting good at this. I'm gonna show off a bit. And as we came past where everyone was, I decided to lift one leg out of the water, thinking, yeah, I'm cool. Nah, I'm really not. Fell straight on my face. I hurt, really hurt. So yeah, I was trying to show off. I was trying to boast it, being how good I was. And it didn't end well. Did not end well. Being Boastful is, it's not a nice thing, but we all do it. I'm sure you guys have done it when you're at school or home or at work, you know, oh, I've got this far in this game. I've got this weapon in Fortnite. I've built this in Minecraft. You know, look at what I've drawn, look at what I've written. There's a difference between kind of showing our work and showing the good stuff that we do and then boasting about it. Boasting about it is when we kind of put other people down and sort of say that we're better than them. Um, and we kind of keep going, no, I'm better than that. I can do that better than you. And you're, you're putting the other person down a bit. When Paul was writing this letter, you know, the love is letter, um, the actual word was, instead of boastful, was brag. Um, so it's similar meaning, you know, bragging about stuff, bragging about what I've got, bragging about what I can do. And how do we, how do we come out of that? How do we not brag about things? It's difficult, it is difficult, it's hard. But actually when we kind of love God and we follow what God says, if we show love to other people, then it's very hard to be boasting or be bragging about stuff. We're, we're showing them those people love. So it's difficult at the moment because we're not really seeing people, we're not at school, for some of us, we're not at work, we're at home, we're not spending time with our friends, which is really tough, really hard. But just kind of when you're at home, just try and show, or when you're with your friends, when you get back to school, just show love to one another. And the more love you show to them, the less you're gonna brag, the less you're gonna be boastful. Cool, I hope that helped, guys. Um, yeah, so let's just try and not be boastful. Thank you, I'll see you soon, take care, bye. Brilliant. Thanks, Pete. I get it now. I really get it. We've learned a lot about love so far, haven't we? And it, it doesn't just mean fancying someone or the way that I feel about chocolate. I love chocolate! Love is way more than that. It's patient, it's kind, it's not jealous, and it isn't boastful. And those are only the things we've learned about so far. Let's spend some time now chatting and catching with Jesus, who loves us deeply and fully. I'm going to ask you some questions and I'd like you to tell Jesus the answers by whispering into your hands or by saying it in your head. Uh, you're not telling the people that are around you. This is just between you and Jesus at the moment. Let me pray for us and then we'll start. Holy Spirit, come. Mm. Come as we chat to Jesus now. Amen. Okay, the first thing that I'd like you to tell Jesus. And you might wanna do this with your eyes closed and your hands open just so you're not distracted. The first thing I'd like you to tell Jesus is what your favorite cereal is. Or if you don't like cereal, then what you like to eat for breakfast. Okay, the next thing I'd like you to do is to tell Jesus what you like the most about your teacher at school.
brilliant. And next, I'd like you to tell Jesus something that's worrying you at the moment. Tell Jesus something that's worrying you at the moment. Okay, next we're going to catch. This is where we leave some space to hear from Jesus. And this often happens by a thought popping into your head or a picture, or maybe you just get a feeling, like a feeling of happiness or of peace. I often get a feeling of peace from Jesus, which I really, really love. Okay, the thing I'd like you to ask Jesus is to ask Jesus what to do about the thing that's worrying you at the moment. Jesus, what should I do about the thing that's worrying me at the moment. Uh, I'll share with you the thing I felt him saying to me, just because it's helpful sometimes to hear what God says to other people. I felt like him saying to me, just trust me, just trust me. I've got it all under control. Um, if you got something just then as we were catching, you might want to check with your adult if, uh, if they think it sounds like something that Jesus is saying. Sometimes when I'm not sure, or even if I am quite sure that I've heard Jesus, I check with someone else that I know loves Jesus too, to make sure they also think it sounds like it's from him too. Because sometimes our heads, we get caught up in so many different things, don't we? That it can be hard to hear whether those words are from Jesus or whether that's just popped into my head from somewhere else. Don't worry, of course, if you didn't hear anything this morning, that is completely fine. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Uh, but whether we do or don't, we must keep trying, keep practicing, and then you'll get even better at hearing Jesus. Let's worship together, shall we? Lord God, we love to hear from you and we wanna worship you now. Amen. Waking up knowing there's a reason All my dreams come alive Life is for living with you I've made my decision You lift me up, fill my eyes with wonder For every young in your love This freedom's untainted With you, no moment is wasted
Thank you so much for watching today. Um, that's the end. Close the video. Go on. Move on with your life. Leave me alone. No? Fine. I'll do a spot the difference challenge. If you do something for me in return, uh, click the thumbs up button under this video. If you're watching on a TV, then get an adult or someone to go onto a phone or a tablet or a computer and load up the same video and click the thumbs up button. I need it, I crave it, I crave the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, have you done it? Have you done it yet? Thank you, thank you. Right, let's do the spot the difference challenge then. Three to get, three differences to find. I'm finding them really hard. Uh, I wonder if you're doing any better at home, whether you're better than me. You probably are. I know lots of you got good eyesight, you youngsters. Uh, if I don't get all three of these differences, I get a pie straight to the face. So there's a lot riding on this. Let's play. Okay, here we go again for another one of these. And uh, we've got a bit of Lion King this time. Three differences to spot. Can I get it today? It's been so hard over the past few weeks. I feel like this one should be a bit easier because it's like a drawing. So, oh, I'm still really, really struggling. I haven't seen any yet so far. Uh, oh no, I'm looking everywhere. Whiskers, count the whiskers, one, two, three, four. Yes, whiskers, whiskers, one of them. Okay, quick, next one, next one. Uh, what about the fingers on the monkey guy, Rafiki? Oh, what about his beard? No, his beard looks pretty similar. Oh, there's a bit out of his hand. Ah, oh, time is up. How are you meant to get three? I just about got two, yeah, that one. Oh, and the bit of his face, the bit of his face. Ah. Oh. There we go then, another week, another spot the difference failed. Which means, for your delight and your viewing pleasure, I'm going to put a pie in my own face. Are you ready? More, 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 a bit more, more, stop. Okay, that will do the job. Here it is, lovely big old pie. Are we ready? In five, four, three, two, one on the head first and in down all around the all around the jungle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. See you next week. Bye-bye.